Hey there, I am on day three. I can talk a little bit better without teeth today. Well, the stitches, mm. the stitches are starting to hang. I don't know if you can see it. Sorry if I drooled. Is that one? Look, it's right here. It's driving me crazy. Whoops, sorry for the boob shot. <laughs> I have it on a, a boingy thing. <laughs> I was just making videos for um, a leg compression sleeve. Um, but yeah, this one here, I thought it was just, I thought it was got loose. I pulled it and I was like, I got dizzy. <laughs> So I had a terrible night last night, so much pain, and so I put the Amosol in there, and I was finally able to fall asleep around 5, and then I, I only slept until 9, so I got 4 hours, but um, so uncomfortable, I think it's that the gums are now bruised up here, you know, from them pulling all the teeth out. I don't know. It's just for the dentures to touch my gum line is terrible. And also, they're too long. I went, hold on. I'm sorry if you're getting a boob shot. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, when I went to see the dentist on. Friday, this was about this high, and this was about this high. So the, the surgeon put that in my mouth anyway, it was way too high. But you see where she ground it so thin that she said that I'm going to need new dentures in a few months. That's what really upset me. She's like, these are never going to last. You're going to need new dentures. She ground them and the sad thing is this is this was not my dentist this was another dentist in the office because mine was out that day and um and here's another thing she did she ground away the teeth there what i was trying to tell her was that this piece right here is touching my uvula and she never addressed that instead she was working on this grinding these down when this is the problem it's too long so instead of working on the real problem she was doing all this other stuff and the fact that she ground the teeth down really pisses me off because I kind of need those to chew food in the back so I go see my dentist on Thursday another thing is is that they had my original teeth I had all my teeth when I went there so they have a full impression of my mouth and these don't look like my teeth at all these look like just generic teeth that somebody stuck in here when they had my teeth and my teeth were beautiful if you see that picture of me I don't know if I'm smiling with my teeth you know teeth smile but I have really nice teeth, or had, and so the thought that they had my teeth, but they didn't make them look like my teeth is very upsetting to me, and I'm going to address that on Thursday, and if my needs are not met, I'm going to contact my insurance company, and I'm going to rebel these, because for one thing, insurances only pay once in a lifetime for your full dentures. I don't know if they all do, but most of them only pay for one set of dentures and that's it. So for that dentist to tell me in a few months I was gonna need to have a new set of dentures made, that blew me away. I was like, are you kidding me? 
I was a crying mess when I left this office. And but I keep I've been very calm and I keep telling myself, you're gonna see your dentist on Thursday. She promised me that she never lets anybody leave not happy with their dentures. She told me that this was one of her specialties. And my friend works there and she told me about the beautiful work this woman does. I mean, she sends these out to get made, but she makes sure it's done. Anyway, I'm sorry, you're getting boob shots again. Um, the one thing that um, I'm noticing is if you go without your teeth, your mouth hurts because usually you have teeth, they're touching each other, they rest on each other, your mouth knows where to stop shutting. Now my mouth is trying to find a place to lean on and there is none. So your jaw starts to hurt. Um, I tried putting my dentures in to ease some of the soreness, but um, oh, that stitch just moved down again. It's like swinging down, and when it gets down, down here, it actually is pulling. So then I gotta work it back up. So see, I brought it back up again. Anyway, I really, really hope that this is not a suck fest because. I can't handle success too much. Uh, I can handle crazy crap, but this has been like a dream of mine for years because my teeth were soft, they were loose in my gums, and I've been trying to save them for years, you know. They kept saying, we want to keep your teeth as long as possible, okay. And so for years I wanted to have this done and all of my dentists were like, let's just hold off. You're going to hate dentures. Let's hold off. Let's try to keep saving your teeth. So I was at the dentist almost every month getting teeth refilled. The same teeth over and over and over again. And I kept telling them everything hurts and they finally realized that they're all loose. And they were like, oh, they hurt because they're loose. I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Oh, it went down again. Yeah, when this stitch goes down here, it pulls on it. I also noticed the more I talk with no teeth in is brutal. But I also, my jaw was hurt the day of surgery by the surgeon trying to put in the bottom denture that was not made for my mouth. It was, it had this ridge on it that was not my, me. And uh, he even saw the ridge. He's like, there's this ridge here. I don't know what that ridge is for. But he was pushing so hard that even though my whole mouth and face was numb, it hurt. That's how bad him pushing on my jaw. He was like just pressing the hell out of my jaw. And then like I showed you last night, he rubbed all the skin off the front of my gums. That's what all those sores are from. Here. From pushing, trying to push that denture on. And he realized it ain't fitting. After I asked him to stop. I was like trying to talk. I'm like, I couldn't talk. I was so numb. Because they numbed here, here, here and here. There was some bone back here and here that was sticking out and they had to clip them. But they pulled all these teeth here. So even though I was all numb, it hurt from him pressing so hard. And I could still feel it in the hinge. I also have TMJ, which it doesn't take much to upset TMJ. And uh, so, I have a lot of, uh, I have bone density issues, so, uh, it hurts. Anyway, so Thursday they were pulled, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so I'm on three days since the pulling. What is that? Went down my boob here. 
probably a hair. Did you ever get a hair that falls off and it feels like it just crawled? I think that's what just happened. Yeah, I got it because when I did that, it just hit my arm. Anyway, I have work to do. I have to upload videos and post them for the companies. But I thought I would give you a, a little bit of a post. I would say it feels better than it did last night. It is hurting. I would say that these bottoms hurt the worst. But it could be because all that skin is gone and it's like cold sores. They're not sores there, but you know if you ever had a bunch of cold sores inside your mouth, it's very hurtful. So, one thing I, this is what is really helping me. You're going to get a boob shot probably. Lindy's Ice. These Italian Ices are really, really, really helpful. The coldness, the coldness feels like heaven. So just buy those Italian ices and mmm. Don't buy ice pops. Oops, sorry. You are not going to be able to do ice pops. It is definitely painful on your jaw to do anything. Don't do ice pops. Yeah, so I've been eating, I've probably been having like four of these a day, maybe more. Mm. It feels fantastic. I wish it didn't melt so fast. What's your mouth, Bob? Hmm? Okay, for me, Campe? My sidekick. Hmm? Can you see my bud? Hey, man. Alright, I'm gonna go do my work, but just figured I would check in. Have a good weekend. Talk to you soon. I wonder where is those buttons?